Hey you guys, Coach Liz here. All right, we are on week seven of our 12-week health empowerment program. This is one of the most important weeks because we're talking about your mindset. Now your mindset is about 90% of what you are creating with your health is in the mindset. And that is really the secret to keeping your weight off long-term. So let's dive into this. We are in element four in your life book. Dr. A talks about so many important things here, so make sure you check it out. But I'm just gonna touch on a few things here. So in element four, it talks about the drama triangle, um, living below the line or above the line. And I like to think of it um, as how your outlook on life. Are you, is life happening to you or through you? No matter what happens in life, are you becoming the victim of that or are you creating what you want? Are you becoming stronger because of it? It's all about the mindset. And so um, part of this journey is becoming more conscious of what's going on mentally and your habits, becoming more a conscious part of your life. And so one thing I love about the Optavia program is it really helps you, number one, to become conscious of your habits, of um, of your eating habits, of your exercise habits, of your hydration habits, you become really aware of that. And I love the structure because it helps you retrain those habits um, and form a new identity or habit train. And so the next thing that we really work on on the program is our mindset, being conscious of what's going on in your mind, um, being aware of the thoughts that are passing through um, and recognizing are those stories or is that a fact? And so being able to separate those and become the dominant force in your life, making those decisions consciously um, to help move you forward. And so um, in element four, it talks about the different um, areas of below the line and below and above the line and how you can move for, like when you catch yourself below the line feeling like a victim or a hero or a villain finding blame um, that you can become aware of that and just shift into a more of a positive outlook and so one thing that dr anderson talks about to help us to be more aware is um, stop challenge choose and I want you to practice this this week and it's not just in regards to what you're eating but in your mindset overall how you react are you proactive or reactive now in stop challenge choose before you make a choice let's say that somebody just really makes you mad someone cuts you off in traffic instead of just automatically responding and yelling at them stop challenge that thought you know, challenge, like, what if the opposite were true? What if they weren't trying to be a jerk and they were actually like did that on accident? Or maybe there is an emergency. They really are in a hurry to get somewhere. Uh, whatever it is, give them the benefit of the doubt. And then you can choose your response instead of yelling at them and making things worse. You can choose a healthier response. Same thing with your nutrition. Somebody brings donuts into the office. Instead of just reacting and grabbing them and putting it in your mouth, you can stop, challenge that thought, is this really worth taking that step backwards with my success or with my progress? Um, or do I want to stick with my program and have a better way in this week or have more energy um, and build that confidence in myself? And then you can make that choice. So whether it be in your relationships, in situations in your life, with your nutrition, if you want to sit and watch Netflix or go for a walk, stop, challenge that thought, become aware, become more conscious, and then make a choice. You know what? Sometimes that choice takes you a step backwards and that's okay if that was a choice, if it wasn't a reaction. But um, that is something that we can really incorporate to become more of an observer of our brains, what's going on in there and be able to stop first, take it, take a breath before you respond and then make a choice. And so um, that is my challenge for you this week. Stop, challenge and choose. All right. Have a good week.